Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very easy and tasty mutton biryani recipe, uh, which is uh, I'm going to make this in the pressure cooker. Hope you will like it, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. First, to marinate the mutton, I have taken here 250 grams of more mutton. Uh, with bones uh, and in this I'm gonna add uh, one and a half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and a uh, half teaspoon of turmeric and uh, one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder uh, and garam masala one teaspoon and coriander powder one teaspoon and salt and red chili powder and in this I'm gonna add two tablespoon of yogurt curd and with this chopped mint leaves, coriander leaves and I have uh, fried some onions, deep fried some onions I'm going to put in that and uh, one full lemon I'm going to squeeze and two tablespoon of oil. Mix this well nicely, mix it nicely and keep this aside for half an hour. Let it marinate for half an hour. Now I have taken a pressure cooker here and I have added uh, 2 tablespoon of uh, oil and 1 teaspoon of uh, clarified butter or ghee. And in this goes the dry spices or the whole spices, bay leaves, javitri, cinnamon, Shajira, cardamom and cloves to fry for sauté them for uh, just few seconds and then this goes the marinated mutton You need to fry this marinated mutton for at least for uh, 5 to 10 minutes. You have to fry this nicely. And I'm adding some green chilies also in this. Fry this till the oil separates. You can see the oil is separated. Now I'm adding one large tomato in this. Fry for another 5 to 10 minutes till the tomatoes are cooked. Add uh, one cup of water in this. And we need to let this cook for four whistles. Cover this and cook for four whistles. First, we need to let the mutton cook because it takes a lot of time to cook. So, I'm cooking the mutton. Now, the mutton is uh, almost cooked. I have taken out. Now, in this, I'm adding the basmati rice I have soaked for about half an hour and uh, I'm gonna add in this don't mix it too much just mix with the gravy slightly and in this we I'm gonna add the water that is one is to one and a half ratio like if I'm taking one cup of rice, uh, we need to add one and a half cup of water and I'm adding still one cup less because uh, I have already added one cup to cook the mutton. So I'm adding a little bit less and I'm going to cook this and I'm adding the fried onions on top of the biryani. Mix this well and uh, just let it uh, cook for another two whistles and your biryani is done. So you can see the biryani is now over, ready to serve. This is a very tasty recipe and very easy to make in the pressure cooker. Normally if you make it as a thumb, it will be very too long time. This is very easy and tasty also. 